Hi, I'm Airman First Class Kaposi, and I'm on a mission to experience as many jobs that the Rhode Island National Guard has to offer. What you're about to see is me doing some training with the Rhode Island National Guard's Combined Service Maintenance Shop, or CSMS for short. If you like what you're about to see, drop a comment below of the next thing you want me to do. All right, so I came over with the 91 Foxtrots and we have the howitzer here that we're going to do a little servicing on. Hi, my name is Sergeant Rodriguez. I'm a 91 Fox, a small arms artillery repairer, and I'm the howitzer mechanic. And today we're going to be starting a, an annual service. Uh, All right, first okay. we're going to take off the foil. Ooh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was like, it's like blood. When they go out in the field, they take the, the foil off, they clean the red grease off, and then it, and then they, they're ready to fire. I thought this was going to be easy. I was like, oh, just take the aluminum off? That's easy. No. <laughs> I can't even grab it. The grease and aluminum is put on to prevent any rusting on the gun, not to make the 91 Foxtrot's job more difficult. Which is what I thought. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting would be under here. I was just expecting metal. I think they did this just to have me do this. <laughs> like, this isn't a real thing. I swear it is. <laughs> I came in there like this. Okay. Good job. You know we have to wash all that off? After. Okay. <laughs> I'll be gone by then. I'm going to be on this side. Mm -hmm. I have to wait till I get to a certain point. And then you're gonna be unscrewing these. Oh, my bowl. And you're gonna be taking out the cotter pin. <laughs> you can actually start taking the cotter pin out now. You're gonna hook it in the little in the hole. Then you're gonna tap it out with this. You're gonna hold it. Like this. Yeah. At this moment, I thought I was going to get kicked out of CSMS. That's okay. okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. You have to replace those. So he's going to push the two back, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to take these two wrenches. This wrench is for here. When he pushes it back, yep, you're going to get a hold of that one. Oh, it's moving a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yep. I put this back here so that it doesn't, so that the piston, when you unscrew it, it doesn't go back into the gun. Okay. That's good. All right, now you can start loosening it. This one is just to hold it in place. Okay. This one, you're going to pull towards you. Yep. You might be able to unscrew it with your hand. Now we can go to the front. So we're going to get this, the front of the yoke. This is the yoke up to the middle, around the middle right here. And then we're going to unscrew this and then take this out. We use the mouth hook. That's what Huge. we call it. <laughs> Maui? Maui, yeah. All these are like massive compared to oh, the yeah. ones I was using like over there. I actually, this is the only thing I fixed. This is all This is all you work on? Yep, and I, I fixed these for the batteries. Oh. We just had drilled, they just fired. Uh-huh. And it went really well. So now we're just making sure all the guns are mission capable by next year. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I did like research on like the small arms. And like it shows like all like the people in like AIT like breaking down like everything. Yeah, so I've done that too. I used to um I used to help one of the inspectors fix the weapons for all the units. So that's how I started here. Oh okay. Yeah. And then you just graduated up to this big yes. thing. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna unscrew these, the four bolts. Is this your favorite weapon to work on, or do you have a favorite? Cruiser weapons are fun. Part of my job is actually to fire them. Oh, really? After I fix everything. That's but. fun. All right, I, I, need, I think I need to go to that side to get the Yeah, I'm not gonna do that one right now. Other way. Oh. <laughs> oh, you were tight. That's why it's not working. <laughs> I can tell you that the, that the gun weighs 10,000 pounds. So the tube itself is probably a third of that weight. All right, now time for the Maui hook. 
you have to hook it from underneath. And you're gonna put pressure on it so it doesn't come off. And you're gonna hit it like this. Use your left hand to give it some support. Yep. Once you find once you get it hooked, okay. Yeah, so put your left hand down here. And then you can. Yep. Don't be scared of it. Put more pressure into it. Yep. Now hit. I feel like I'm not doing it. Alright, hang on. You need some more power. I don't want to like hit you. Don't worry about it. All right, now you can put the mallet down. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hook it at the bottom again, and you're just gonna push it. There you go. You wanna switch? Yeah. You let me know. Okay. I feel like I'm not helping. So what made you wanna be a 91 Foxtrot? Honestly, I wanted to do something that not many people say they can do. How big is this? Wait. All the way up to here. <laughs> we have that much. <laughs> we got a long way to go. All right, we could try to use a sling now. Grab the sling. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull up and kind of, yep. But we're gonna go this way. So just pull up for, for the friction, and then let me pull. Yep. Good job. Back to home, people. Yeah. Back to my desk. <laughs> so close. All right. We did it. <laughs> Good job. So now he's gonna push the two back. Got it. All right, and then we're gonna put the small, the small side inside here. Yep. Yep. Pull the the little one. Yeah. Oh, we're getting the thing. I'll hold this. Yep. Unscrew that. And then take the, the whole thing out. I'm gonna take that side out too. Alright. Yep. So now this is kind of the tedious part because you gotta make sure that everything is straight. Make sure you don't hit the piston. And then you gotta make sure that it raises as straight as possible. See the the top of the triangle part? Mm -hmm. this? Pull it slightly towards you. Keep going. Right there. Do it more. A little more. More. There we go. At this point, I was given the sling to help Sergeant Rodriguez in stabilizing the tube while moving it to the stands for cleaning. You may be thinking we completed the job by removing the tube, but we're just scratching the surface. It takes about a full 40 hour work week to service just one howitzer, and I've only been here about an hour. I take this punch, push this pin in, and what you're gonna do, you're gonna stand to the left, yep. Right hand on the hammer, yep. And you're gonna slowly push this out to, towards you. Once that, once that plate comes out, yeah, you can take that punch out. Yeah, you might want to stand on this side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's gonna back happen? Door, go ahead. To just hit it out. Just stay on, this just side stay on the left. It. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. All right. That was less scary than what you guys were making yeah. me feel. <laughs> And then you're gonna take those springs out. Yep. You're gonna use this. You're gonna open the whole thing. Put your hand, hold it this way. Take your left hand. You're gonna grasp this. And you're gonna use all your might. 
Still push forward? Yep, keep going. <laughs> it's pushing me back. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. It's the rest, look it. It's the rest, the rest in it. This is the breech ring and collar assembly. For annual service, the breech assembly, breech block, spindle, and prime feed mechanism are taken off. This is done to inspect all parts of the assembly. Another reason to disassemble the breech assembly is to perform a bore scope to check the lands and grooves of the cannon tube and a pullover gauge to check the diameter of the beginning of the tube. This ensures proper firing. All right, take that, you can put it on the table. Be careful, it's really heavy. Now you can put it on, on the, the table. table. So I just got a little taste of what it's like to work at CSMS. I did the beginning of the day with the Humvee and I ended off here with the howitzer. It's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Um, right now we're cleaning off the grease, which is the longest part I heard of the day. Um, so is there anything that you want to say that someone who's interested in coming to CSMS, interested in being small arms repair? Yeah, uh, don't be intimidated. Um, if it's what you enjoy, don't hesitate to do it. And don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't do it. If you're interested in anything that we did, even uh, MOS that we didn't cover here at CSMS, reach out to a recruiter or someone you may know in the shop, talk to them about it, get a little more information, and try it out. Looking back at the work I did with the 91 Foxtrots, it's both physically and mentally demanding, but working as a team really helped us get through some of the tasks at hand. This is an essential job, making sure weapons are mission capable. If you want to be part of a bigger picture, then a job at CSMS is for you. You're welcome to clean grease with us anytime. Okay, maybe if I have like a day off. <laughs> Do you want to officially say, all right, cut, wrap? Yeah, all right, cut, wrap. Yeah. <laughs>